Okay. Well, everybody, thank you so much for joining us today to find out a little bit more about Megan Alexander. My name is Lisa Van Wyck with Blaze Sports and Fitness and Wisconsin Blaze and Blaze Pro. We have Megan Alexander with us today from Freedom High School, and we're going to uh, find out a little bit more about what makes Megan tick and why she's so special and why she has had a lot of interest from schools and why she uh, is here to tell us a little bit more about herself. So Megan, I'll let you take the floor. Why don't you give us a little bit of background on you? Okay, so I'm Megan Alexander. I go to Freedom High School in Northeast Wisconsin. It is a small high school, but very blessed to have a very good girls basketball team there. And uh, I've been playing basketball since like third grade, but I think I actually started in first with like the little YMCA things. So I just love the game and I love growing and getting better and challenging all the aspects of it. Wonderful. So Megan, why, why do you love basketball? What is, what is it about basketball that makes it special for you? Um, I'm a competitive person, so I like the competitiveness of it and just being with my friends because the game is full of people I love to be with and play with. And I don't know, I just like the way that it makes me grow as a person and challenges me. Cool. And uh, talk about grow. You're, you're kind of a big young lady. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about uh, uh, your position uh, in basketball and a little bit more about why you're unique, really, really unique compared to a lot of athletes. Okay, so I'm a six foot one center mostly, and my favorite type of play is back to the basket, posting up, like being really physical. I love being physical, um, playing around, or I don't know, I guess just beating up on other girls, not like in a bad way, but just being physical. And, but I can also step out and shoot a three or go to the basket. So I like being able to do everything, I guess. Yeah, and I'm glad you actually mentioned that. You are a very physical center. Um, you stand tall, you stand strong in, in the post and in your game, you have versatility that people are actually pretty surprised that uh, you can hit the, free, the three point shot the way you can, um, but yet uh, go right, left, you have a number of inside moves in your game. Um, and it's funny that you say uh, you like to beat up on people, but not in a bad way. That's okay. I, <laughs> I get it. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, you balance that out with a lot of endearing qualities as a teammate and as, um, for me, coaching you the last number of years in Blaze, uh, I've seen a lot of special things about you. What are some qualities that you bring to your team that you know would help your team be successful? Um, I'm a natural born leader, so I like to just kind of take control, but like in a respectful way and lead the team to victory, hopefully. And I'm also a good, clear communicator. So I'm able to communicate on the floor and off the court with anything that we're doing. So, and I have a strong work ethic and I'm always willing to get better and grow and change and be coachable. Wonderful, wonderful. So with that, yeah, you do absolutely work really well with others. And one of the things too I've noticed uh, about you, Megan, is uh, in working with people, you, you also um, have a strong sense of loyalty to your program. You know, we've together have experienced some tough times over the last uh, couple years, you know, and with different uh, uh, personalities on on our team, um, different team dynamics. What are some of the things that you learned in uh, the experience that you've had over the last couple of years, and what really can can crush a team or bring a team together? Um, I think the first and foremost, like one of the most important things about a team is everyone should want to be there. Like it shouldn't be like a job that you don't like. Like 
basketball should be fun and you should want to be there and get better and grow and learn from your coach. I think that that for me and like in a team is the most important quality. And I also think that girls just, you should be coachable and willing to learn from our mistakes and like noticing like when we made a mistake and trying to get better. Yeah. Yes. Those yeah. are. Absolutely. And, and those are important qualities to have to know that, you know, when your coach is trying to show you something, this is why I feel like you're so coachable. You're open to suggestions. You're, you're open to, Hey, I thought it was this way, but my coach wants me to do it this way. You're okay with going, let me cognitive dissonance. Okay. It might not be something I, I think, but I'm willing to be open to go, you know what, I'm going to do what's best for the team. And if we need to, if I need to personally make adjustments or our team needs to, we just got to come together as a team and, and do what's best yeah. um, to get to be successful. Um, I love, I love that. Absolutely love that about you. Um, so it, with that, you know, you have some great qualities physically, um, socially with a team. What are some qualities that you look for in a coach? Um, I want them to be caring, like about me and about my teammates and be able to push us, but like not to like a breaking point, like push us and then give us constructive criticism, not like tear us down. So. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes to be torn down, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, it, that's, I think, um, our philosophy is we don't need to tear people down in order to build them up. We need to take mm -hmm. them the way they are right now um, and build them up from there. Absolutely. Uh, and you've, you've actually, Megan, have looked at a number of different schools and you've talked to different coaches as well, even as a freshman. Uh, last summer, you had um, had the opportunity to talk to a number of D1 schools. You're looking at D2 schools. Um, what what would be your dream school? Um, I would love to go to a big school and just experience that atmosphere, I guess, because it's, it's different. Obviously, growing up in a small town, I haven't gotten to fully experience that. I mean, I love traveling to big cities, and I just think it's so fun. So I would love to go to a big school, but I'm open to any size if it's the right fit for me academically and athletically. So I'm not, I'm not opposed to a smaller school or anything. So Cool. Yes, that is, that is true. Is it a, the right fit for you and for them? Um, that's, that's our passion um, as an organization is just to make sure that we find the right next home for you and make sure it's a great match for the coaches. So what about your dream job? When we've spoken um, about what your passion is, I just am floored by your level of intellect and all the really cool things that, you're, that you love to think about and study. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Okay, so my dream job is to be an aer aeronautical engineer at NASA. I think that would be so cool. I'm kind of a space geek, I guess. Um, I love like learning about space and seeing it. It blows my mind how big and how big it is. I guess you can never. I can't fathom it. So that's my dream job, and I think it sort of came from like I watched the movie Hidden Figures, and it kind of spoke closely to me about like women getting equal opportunity and being able to be important in the workforce. And so, like Katherine Johnson and her two other friends that worked at NASA, they kind of inspired me. And I just think it's a super cool job that I would love to do. Yeah, and I know you would do it well. You're such a hard worker and you would have a lot of problems and you're very creative in your thinking. Um, yeah, I absolutely love that. Cause I, um, my, my son too absolutely loved space and um, it's true to think about the vastness and how reminds me that there's just much more to this world than what we see um, and feel and we can only imagine what's what's out there and um, and what we're part of so with with that let's go towards um, something fun I want to ask you so let's just pull this out of the air what um, do you like pizza 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you like to put on your pizza that might be different? Well, I like just the basic pepperoni <laughs> and cheese, obviously. But I also really like Hawaiian with pineapple, which is very controversial, but I think it's great. And if you haven't tried it, you need to because it's good. It's just very good. Yes, people, I so agree with you. People need to try some different things. I absolutely love pineapple. Um, another thing that people should try is applesauce. Have you ever eaten pizza eat with applesauce or applesauce? No, I've never, I've never heard of anyone doing that. Well, yeah. I guess in my lunches when I have, but I eat them separately. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, if you take your slice of pizza, that hot pizza, and dip it in an applesauce and eat it, you will be amazed and it'll be something new for you. So if anybody out there hasn't done that yet, try it because it's really, really good. <laughs> so what about, um, we were talking about your favorite TV show. Uh, if you had to make a sports team with the characters from the last TV show you watched, who would your team consist of? So I watched The Office this morning and I just love that show because it makes me laugh because it, I have that, I have a dry sense of humor sometimes. So I, it just cracks me up. So I'd say for first and foremost, the center would be Jim Halpert, big guy. Um, I could see Dwight as like a shooting guard. I don't know. I think he would take on that role and go for it. Mm. I probably wouldn't put Michael Scott as the point guard because he's a little <laughs> sketchy in his ways sometimes. He'd probably be like a small forward maybe. I don't know. He's pretty short, but that's okay. Um, i definitely put Pam. Pam as point guard because she's outgoing, but she can definitely take charge, and I like that. There you go. Um, what positions am I missing? Oh. Why can't I think of it? I don't know. Yeah, don't and then know. the fifth teammate would probably be hmm, Andy, Andy Bernard. Okay. He's just, he fits in with that group, but I think he would be a good fit for that team. There you go. There you go. You got to have a little bit of everything, right? In order yeah. to have chemistry and be successful. I love it. I love it. I love that dry sense of humor of yours too. It's very cool. You know, one thing I absolutely <laughs> love about you is when we've uh, been in tough situations and games you take it in stride and you really don't get rattled and you sometimes you'll just like but you'll do exactly that you'll like smile you put a <laughs> perspective even if in a tough time you're like you know what this is okay we've got this and you you have that nice smile about you um in some serious situations and and i love that and i think that's why uh, you're going to be successful in whatever you decide to do in the future. Um, we're coming out of a pretty tough time with, with the COVID stay-at-home orders. Um, being in Wisconsin, they, they did recently get overturned. Um, and we're going to start coming out of this. And you know, next week, Blaze is going to be opening up. Uh, the week after, we'll start some practices. Um, but for you guys, you know, you're, you want to be cautious. So how, I guess, tell me a couple things. One, how did you handle this, this time where you were pretty much isolated out in the country and stuck at home? What, what are things that you did to keep yourself positive? And what are things that you're going to do moving forward to make sure that we're, that we're safe um, and that we can get back to basketball? Um, I guess I just kind of had an open mindset, like, just roll with the punches, I guess. See what comes at me. Keep busy to keep my mind off things, I guess. And I like that it kind of, I feel like this might be kind of, like I was on my own for the most part. Like I had to self-motivate to work out and self-motivate to shoot, which was good for me because, and you're not always going to have that push, especially in adult life. People, no one's going to tell you have to go work out. So I really like that mind, like aspect of it where I could push myself to get out there and get better and grow and get stronger. So that was fun for me, but I guess to stay positive, I just kept myself busy. I watched quite a bit of Netflix. I read a couple books, which was good because I didn't really, I mean, I always have time to read, but I don't always do it. So it was nice. And I like mowing the lawn because I can just zone out and listen to music. So 
I guess I really just kept myself busy and just kept waiting and FaceTiming to see my friends and family. So I think like coming out of this, I just want to stay positive whenever I can. Yeah. Um, what would you say to people who are a little uncertain about really stepping out and getting back into contact sports? Do you have any thoughts on that? If people are fearful or uncertain? Um, I don't know. I'm ready to play basketball. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. I think that you should just, if you're uncomfortable with it, then obviously, like, don't put yourself in an uncomfortable situation because that's not good for anyone. But be open-minded to it. And if everyone's, like, just trust that people are going to be smart and not be hopefully reckless and go play when they're not feeling well because that's just you shouldn't even be doing that when this whole pandemic isn't happening so yeah absolutely so be smart yeah in common sense um but yes. you're right yeah we can't live in fear um because when we make decisions um out of fear they tend to be the the wrong ones or um are there's no foundation to them so mm -hmm. but we can be smart and continue what we've been doing to date. So awesome. Megan, do you have anything else you want to say to the world? Nope, not that I can think of. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, I know that you're going to have a big impact in the world wherever you go and you. whatever you do. And I'm excited to get a couple more seasons here with you in AU and three more. You're going to be taking on some, some major roles this next year on your varsity team. I'm pretty excited to see what freedom yeah. is going to accomplish in the future. Yeah, I'm very excited to see. Yeah, yeah. So um, if you would like to find out more about Megan Alexander, she um, has a number of highlight reels out on Huddle. Uh, you have a platform that you're keeping up to date on sports recruits. Your profile's out there and on field level. Uh, in addition, we have a custom website that you can find every link to Megan, including some of her social web pages, um, on our wisconsinblaze.com website. And you can go to wisconsinblaze.com forward slash Megan Alexander. And that's wisconsinblaze.com forward slash M E G A N A L E X A N D E R, Megan without an H that special in itself too. So blaze.com, wisconsinblaze.com forward slash Megan Alexander. Definitely take a look at what she has to offer as a basketball athlete, but also as a leader because she truly is special and will impact your program and your university in more ways than one. So we're very special to have you, Megan. Thank you so much Thank for you. all you've done. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have a wonderful day and we will see you on the court pretty soon. Yes, I'm excited. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. We'll see you soon, hon. Thank Bye. you. Bye.